Libra land. Welcome, my friends. So this is Valentine's Eve. Happy Valentine's Day, wherever you are in the world. Um, one of my regular commenters um, told me to look more into who St. Valentine is or was and the history behind it. So I did. So this reading, I brought out all the love decks, but also more importantly, um, <clears throat> healing, healing. This is for healers. St. Valentine was a, I just heard prophetic healer. Um, <clears throat> he was able to heal the blind, the ill, you know, he was definitely gift, a gifted healer. Just simple as that, simple as that. And um, there was an emperor who was very jealous. I just happened to cut the deck open. I was holding the Hungarian gypsy cards and my other hand was like, Phew! and I cut the deck open and jealousy card. <clears throat> Something, um, unfortunately, that I guess Libra is very familiar with recently. I don't know, Libra, that card has been showing itself so much during our readings. So, anyways, this reading is dedicated to love and it's dedicated to the healers. Let's go. Yes. Sorry, it took me two minutes to get to that. But, um, anyway, St. Valentine was put to death, you know, um, beheaded because of being such a gifted healer and having those abilities and because he helped people avoid, he helped marry people. So that's also why I've been seeing the marriage card. I was hoping I could cut to it. <laughs> I've been seeing, there it is. Oh my gosh, it was right on the top. Ding dong, Ashley. <laughs> it was right on the top. Um, this That's why we've been seeing this marriage card so much. St. Valentine would marry couples so the men would not be drafted so easily for war, apparently, if they were married back in the day. They wouldn't have to go to war. So, I mean, he just helped people avoid certain death. And he healed the sick and ill. So, shout out to St. Valentine. This reading is dedicated to you and all the healers. Whatever capacity you heal. All the healers working for the good of all. The highest good of all. This reading is for you and love on Valentine's Day. We're going to use the I Ching of Love cards as well. We After some pre-shuffling, I have number 13. To be in love. At the bottom. I also have my love activation cards. Well, not mine, but... Their love activation cards. We have creativity at the bottom. You love to devise new ideas, innovations, and forms of illumination. Libra. Also, the tarot. We're going to use the hoodoo tarot because it is filled with healers. Okay? We have the daughter of coins. A person who heals through food. And enjoys spreading their stability around and being close with um, their family and friends. As seen here, she's sharing a platter of food that she's prepared for her guests. This daughter of coins. Yes. I just heard good people, good people. 
Yes. Okay. Message for Libra. Message for Libra. Wow. <clears throat> Somebody that passed um, left some of you uh, quite a bit of money. The fortune card was just at the bottom and out came the death card. To clarify loss with a judgment. This is some type of inheritance or some type of money that has been owed to you through some type of loss, a, a death, okay? Death clarified the loss card. So this is loss by, to the other side. They crossed over. This person is on the other side. And they left you money or you're owed money in this loss, this case. I don't know what this is about, Libra. Wow. First message out. Our card. Justice, the judge. A letter. You may be receiving a communication about this very soon. I just heard ASAP. Wow. What else is going on for Libra before I get into the tarot? Valentine's Day. Wow. Wow, look, it just flipped upright, like upright the light. Minister card, the divine. This person is backed by the light, literally. The light has your back. Wow, Libra. That is so cool. Let me write that down. I love that. I don't know if I've ever been channeled that. I don't think I have. Also, did I tell you guys and did I show you? I found this small, small, tiny white feather earlier. Barely see it against the card. Here. Come on, where'd it go? Did I drop it? Mm hmm. There. You guys can barely see it, but there it goes. So, found that small little white feather, and I heard it is. The smallest acts of kindness can make the biggest difference. Impact. Yes. Loyalty. Loyalty is rewarded. I just heard loyalty is rewarded in this life. It carries on to the next and my scalp is tingling major. Wow. That's my ancestors, guides, loved ones. When my scalp tingles like that. That's so beautiful. Wow. Your loyalty carries over, Libra. I hope you dance. Again, I just saw the merriment card. King of Cups. This is a masculine water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person who has passed over that is now stepping into the reading. Wow. 
I feel an immense amount of love. I want to cry. I feel a lot of emotion. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. This is exactly, these two cards right here tell exactly the same story as the cards that came out in the Gypsy. Divine Justice, Ace of Swords, Libra. Our Ace. Our Justice. Ancestors rubbing a lucky $2 bill. Seven. And I've been seeing 7-Eleven consistently everywhere. This person that passed could have left you some type of jewelry because I'm looking at these rings and I'm seeing the four leaf clover ring along with that almost looks like the um, I just read about it the dragon or the snake that eats its own tail I forget the name Oh, I was saying it earlier. Oh, gosh. Wow. Yeah, the cycle. It speaks about the cycle. Death, rebirth. Pause. I heard pauses in between. Wow. Yeah, your some of your family or your loved ones or ancestors um, are bringing this financial abundance into your life, Libra. Some of you are going to hear about it on Valentine's Day this week. Three generations, three of baskets, three of cups, celebration, and it also speaks of three generations. There's three generations, grandmother, mother, and daughter sitting at the table. I like to give you guys the close-up of the artwork. They're weaving baskets. It's the three of baskets. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, makes me miss my grandmother. Wow. What's back at the bottom? I'm telling you what, Libra. You need to just prepare. Prepare for this abundance. What else for Libra? Valentine's Day reading. <laughs> I cannot. You saw how that card just slid into my hand and on my grasp. You saw it. The camera saw it. Nine of pence, Libra. Nine of coins. Get yourself some evil eye pendants or jewelry. Just like her dress is filled with evil eyes because she knows she's got it going on. And you're probably jealous of her. Libra's got it going on. And there's many people that are going to be jealous, Libra, if they're not already. And I'm just letting you know. I'm just being honest here and reading the cards and relaying the messages. She's got her money tree beside of her. She's hanging out with her cat. She's going over her financial report. She's got her snacks, her drinks. Life is, life is good. Life is good. <laughs> Lucky piece of the pie at the bottom. To me, it's, it's, it's getting ready to like, you're going to be so excited. I heard ecstatic, ecstatic. You're going to be so ecstatic, Libra. And so blessed and fortunate, whatever your belief, um, you're abundant. 
Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Coins. Gosh, I have more chills. One more tarot card. Okay. Two of Pentacles, Libra. We must remain balance but it's nothing you're not already it's nothing you can't handle all right it, it, it it's nothing you can't handle don't let fear get the best of you this tidal wave in the background is perceived okay just as fear and you are riding a unicycle and juggling you can multitask libra you are 1555 on the clock. Get ready for changes. I'm telling you what. You're balancing your time and your money here. I heard energy, exput, recuperation. You're regaining energy. It's all important. Remaining that balance, keeping that balance. <clears throat> oh. Just to make make you aware, many of you still have, um, yeah, haters, negative people, ops, opposition, energy around you. People are talking about you, Libra, because you stand out. Simple facts. Look at the card. This is the five of sticks. This is the five of wands. These other four are just kind of blending into the background. They don't really shine like Libra. No offense to whoever these people are. They must not know Libra's heart. All they see is exterior or what Libra shows the world. Libra, you stand out. You're in the periwinkle blue sweater. But look, you need to... To be aware of this evil eye, you need to be um, up on game because another message in this card is she has her arms crossed. She's aware that these people are trying to gossip or go against her and she's going to protect herself and cross them later. She has her arms crossed. She's protecting her solar chakra number one body language it makes so much sense in psychology and in the spiritual world um when you cross your arms like this right i'm protecting my solar chakra you are not going to drain my life force energy. If I'm not feeling your presence, your energy, or what you have to come up and say to me, or what you're all about, or whatever, if I'm not feeling it, or I'm feeling a little defensive, or like I need to put up a wall or a boundary between us, or some room, I will cross my arms. Not always, but... I feel the need to guard my solar plexus even more so since coming into these abilities. So that's just a tip. If you guys are ever feeling like you need to protect yourself or your energy, cross your arms. As shown. Libra. Oh, okay. All right. Let's keep moving. I'm going to move these cards up. We're going to keep going. Okay. I'm hearing Yijing. One shuffle. Waiting. <laughs> Waiting with the one teacup. And the heart in the cloud. One card for Libra, Valentine's Day, 2022. Libra. Woo! Oh my gosh, you guys saw it. 
Oh, beautiful. I've never seen this card. Look what's at the bottom first of all. Just look what's at the bottom first. An gorgeous elephant. 34. Oh my gosh. How beautiful that elephant is. And look what just flew out. And I showed you guys this in the beginning of the reading. It was at the bottom of the deck. Number 13. To be in love, Libra. Let's read it. Let's go. Then we'll pull a love activation card and a secret garden card and close out this Valentine's Day reading. Number 13, to be in love. Every love has within it a message of openness, which is not to impose one's own will, but to transmit the meaning and vibration of being in tune with the universal force that governs the whole of existence. Love is power in itself and for itself. It does not impose itself. It limits itself to sharing. Being picky and choosy about your love, Libra, is what I just heard at the end there. Limits itself to sharing. It does not impose itself. We don't force our love either. We can't make people accept our love, right? But we better love ourselves. We got to start there first. But this is beautiful. And I feel like you need to just trust in some type of process, whatever is happening in your love department, life. Think good thoughts. Love on yourself in the meantime, in between time, if you're a single Pringle. And if you are in a relationship, I feel like this is like you can trust your partner, right? The two white doves together. Yeah, 2227. You can make magic together if you're in a relationship, Libra. And you can trust your person. If you feel this way, if this resonates for you, if you feel you can trust your person, if they haven't given you reason not to trust them, you know what I mean? Um, if you're single, you, it's okay to still believe in love. It's okay to think romantic. It's okay, but just trust yourself, trust your discernment. Um, in the meantime, in between time, work on yourself. You know, it's your time, Libra. It's your time, love. Happiness is to love. Yes, you can tend to your plants. Shout out to those getting ready to, you know, replant their indoor plants or buy some more indoor plants. Tending to the new growth in your lives. Happiness is to love, says this card. Ooh. And the spring is behind that. Yep, it's coming up quick. And that's showing a water spring. Look how gorgeous that is. It's pouring into what looks like the sky. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, I need to read this. 48. What is that? Before we get a love activation card, what is 48 about? The spring, the image depicts what is deepest in us humans. It evokes our essential nature. The oracle is simple. Do not lose contact with that intimate inner reality because it is from there that you extract, consciously or not, the life force that animates all your gestures, your whole life. Your inner reality. Oh my gosh, Libra. Yes, the world you... 
the world you live in, the world, how you see the world, your inner reality it reflects inner to outwardly. Woo, Libra, it's so lit. Let's get a love activation card. Happy Valentine's Day 2022, everyone. Especially to the healers of the world in the Libra land. One love activation card, special message for Libra. Action. Take action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Yes, you do, Libra. Some of you are future owners. If you're not already owners of your own companies, businesses, CEOs, bosses, I just heard margins. Ownership. You acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike, and you learn to love them all as lessons. Ownership, Libra. Let's go. Hidden depths. You only see the surface. Look beyond. Maybe that is in regards to love. Let's shuffle once. Beginnings. Don't be afraid to start small. One card, secret garden message, and we'll close this out. Libra, Valentine's Day 2022. Top card. Beauty. Dare to be tender and strongly vulnerable. Always, Libra. Don't let the world steal the sparkle from your eyes. I love you so much, Libra land. Until the next time, always stay balanced and stay blessed. If this resonated for you and you enjoyed this reading, make sure you give me a big thumbs up so I can reach more Librans here on YouTube. Thank you very much. Peace.